Okay. Good. Welcome, welcome everybody to another session of TTO. Tuesday timeout. Uh, we move it into a three o'clock p.m. Pacific from now on. Uh, That's one of the big changes. I'm really welcome. I'm very excited about today's topic. Uh, we're going to be talking about 2023. And um, what's going to, I mean, we really need to capture a big vision of what is coming up. And as you know, all the for the last two years, we've been talking about a few things, few things we already have it and live it and practice, and it has been good. And so congratulations to all of those that embrace digital world and technology. Um, uh, well, I'm very excited. So I'm going to start. And welcome to everybody and those that are for the first time. You're welcome to, in the chat, um, put on your, well, your name is here, but where are you from? And hopefully it's Jafra, what company you are with. But uh, I'm gonna start sharing the screen right now. Let's see, Carol. Uh, let's see, we're gonna stop here. Carol, can I put you as a co-host and let people get in while I'm in the other screen? Sure, you can make me co-host. The only thing is I've got to jump off at about six or five or six minutes before seven because we have our district training tonight. Oh, okay. It's All okay. Right. Hopefully people won't be showing up. I'll, I'll be done with the, with the sure. share. So it's just for the share. Okay, this is, sounds good. All right. So just keep watching on the screen as people arrived. Okay, so we're going to go into And internet's a little bit slow today. I don't know why. It, it has been, I don't know if you experienced the same, but internet has not been nice with me lately, the last 48 hours. Okay, I think this is good enough. Okay, so first of all, the terminology. Um, there's a lot of terminologies that are going to be new um, as we move on into this new world of digital and technology and marketing, e-commerce, uh, et cetera. New terminologies that there's faster that we embrace them and get used to them. So uh, the easier will be to understand what is going on. So social selling is one of the new terminologies that we're going to see around a lot. Um, and that is because a lot of the selling, shopping is going to be online um, through social media platforms. Okay. And the question is, are we really ready for this? Um, first of all, we're going to go and do an overall uh, road trip, if I can call it, about the fight trends for 2023. So I already have um, in the last week, right after Thanksgiving, a few gathering with um, some of the social media gurus that I call that we have been getting together for 10 years, 12 years. Um, and so we um, talk about some, I hear from them <laughs> because they are into advanced technology. Some of them own companies that are totally focused in e-commerce and digital marketing, et cetera. So I'm pretty much a big antenna with my ears listening, listening what they have to say. And Forbes uh, had a report um, a month ago, I think. Um, he talks about this five trends. So it's not my idea, it's him. Uh, 
but we all agree that this will be a fact and this will happen next year. Now, remember in the last three or four years, they have been changes. Four years ago, for something to change in the social media, it will take years. Uh, we'll be talking, okay, in two years, we're gonna see this happening in Facebook or in any other platform. Um, the last three years, it moved into six months, five months. If you remember okay. you know, about Messenger making changes and we're ready. I was testing some of the changes and it took like two, three months until it happened. Uh, and then we had to fix, uh, they had to fix all the glitches. Well, uh, last year, um, changes were happening within a month. And now we see changes happening within days. So what does it mean is the faster that we set our mind in embracing the changes, and as I say before, like weaving, like a basket, you have to weave yourself in it and be part of it. It will become easier and easier to understand and move on because technology will develop in order to help you with your business, to help you with communication. So it will become easier for you too. But um, it's always better when you start from the beginning and understand the process. It pretty much the process is the same, it's just new technology. Um, and so that's what we're gonna see number one is accelerate, uh, accelerate all those transformations and the digital transformation. It's gonna go fast. Uh, sustainability, okay, this is a topic that is not digital, right? Or, but because of what happened in the world right now, we have more access to um, flooding, earthquake, um, mud slides all over the world, um, volcanoes, because we do not depend on the news, uh, the TV news repeating the same, the same over and over. Yeah, you can go to TikTok, you can go to Instagram, and you see people with their own phones filming the things and posting them. Uh, and so people are way, way more aware of why our earth is going through. Uh, the melting iceberg, what happened in Canada, what happened in Alaska, um, all of that, um, even here in Utah, you know, we have lakes that are almost dry. I mean, very dry. Um, so people are becoming more aware. And with that comes a trend. Customers will be looking for companies that sustain sustainability that go green, that um, avoid using um, non-recycled items, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna talk a little bit more about it. Metaverse, Metaverse is a new technology that help you in Facebook or on Instagram to find new communities, um, to develop your business on these platforms. And we'll talk about this. And now I'm gonna touch the five trends uh, for, the next year. Talent reevaluate. What does he mean? These are the people that have been working in an office for years and years and years on an eight to four, nine to five job. And now after COVID, after people experience working from home, being more relaxed, they are reevaluating what they want to do. And we see a lot of people quitting their job and finding new streams of incomes which is good for our type of business, because we can offer them the solutions. Um, immersed customer experience. Well, the customer experience, like we have the try on virtual, the makeup and the skincare analysis and all the stuff. We're talking about those type of experience uh, on a deeper level, okay? Uh, or working with double eye. I. I have a typo there. So, we're going to see the interest of people working from home or remote working and also the companies offering these opportunities. They're going to use 
the technology to allow their employees to work from home because it's a win-win situation for both, both of them, which is great because now people can have part-time jobs and work from, from home with a business like we are involved with. Uh, the 3D environment. Oh, we're going to talk about that later because I had you had to visualize this. This is going to be great. The Tryon Virtual. I think all of you are familiar because you having your website in Jafra.com and the IE, which is artificial intelligence. This is taking over amazing. Um, this is like someone else is thinking for you, really. I just gonna share, um, okay, and then I'll share my experience when we get there. And then the implementation of things are gonna be much, much easier. So this is what is gonna happen in 2023 and we're ready to jump into it. So let's go to point one, um, how this digital transformation is gonna happen because we have artificial intelligence now in, embedded or uh, integrating to Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all these platforms and, and YouTube and websites and Canva and um, MailChimp and everything now is, is in this artificial intelligence. I'm going to tell you my experience today, which is great for those of you that use Canva and you can chat if you use Canva. Yes, I use Canva. Um, so they have this new um, source right now where um, you can uh, do documents in Canva and create documents and everything is like a click of a button. So let's see I'm writing a document and I want to do five tips on, and this is what I choose, five tips on posting in Facebook, and I, that's all what I type, all right? Five tips and put it Intelligent, <laughs> artificial intelligence, read my question, and they come up with five points. And it's their number, and it just pops in my screen. One, two, three, four, five, and they give me one, do this, two, do this, three. It's incredible. You can type. A uh, five tip for the skincare, and in seconds it pops five tips for that. This is what it is an in artificial intelligence. Someone else thinking for you. I don't have even to to prioritize or anything like that. Isn't that great? Um, if you have Canva, you can Canva Pro. Maybe you can try it. I don't know. I'm in the testing group, so uh, but it might be available to all of you. Okay, let's go. Um, I love that. Uh, IoT, which means Internet of Things, right? So this is pretty much a new level of Internet connecting with all uh, phones, iPads, computers, platform. It's a big world of Internet. And we are moving into a new level. So websites were for 10 or 12 years were the same system. Then they move about five years ago into the second and the last year is moving to the third. But look at how we go from 10 to, to two years to one year. Next year, we're gonna move in, into a new level of website. Um, I haven't researched too much about it, but it's gonna be much better because it will allow to integrate all these other I would call digital uh, fun. Now, VR and AR, what are they? Virtual and augmented reality. And we're gonna see some samples right now, what it is. Um, and I'm gonna talk to you how this can help in our business in the future. And even though it looks too far away, you will be surprised that it will be here. So like doing virtual classes and parties, it's going to be great. Um, what is going to happen for sure is between artificial intelligence, internet, virtual and augmented reality, there are going to be less boundaries. So before is you have this one technology and you use it, you know, uh, 
you have artificial intelligence and it's here and you use it now, this is gonna be that much of a border. Again, the weaving, you know, weaving a basket, they all gonna lose, have less of a border between one and the other and they're gonna integrate better. This is so powerful, even I would say scary, but it's gonna happen and it will be controlled for, for the best. Oh, I'm sorry, these two words, I don't know why they object any bodies. Well, <laughs> that's no part of the topic. Okay, and we talk about hybrid and remote working. Um, and that's what companies are doing. They're finding the ways to allow their employees to work uh, remotely. My daughter was from her home in Salt Lake City. She had been working for a year and a half for a company in New York. And it's amazing. I mean, she can do that. She can work from home. And, and we're going to see more and more of those. So sometimes hybrid is uh, going like two days to the office and the rest you work from home, things like that. But what is what I call, and this is Diana's uh, uh, approach, souls research. <laughs> I call it like that is people are going to think about what they really like, what are they gonna do? Am I tired of being in a desk? Am I tired of having to fly and teach or whatever the work it is? Um, and they're gonna research because there are so many sources in the internet to research about why you like, what careers are there, what things can you do with in a, in a different way and I still have a good income, but enjoy more your job. And COVID brought this up. COVID, you know, took us back to home, to work from home. A lot of people, my husband worked from home for almost a year. Um, and because of that, people's mentality is like, I like this. What, what else I like? I mean, how many of you have seen through the years someone that, is a doctor or an attorney because their family talk or their family were doctors or an attorney. And then they graduate. I have a brother-in-law. He graduated from Harvard and BYU. And then he move out and retire and say, I want to teach. That was he loved all his life. And so he's teaching in a college here right now. And this, this sole re research within ourselves it's gonna be more and more popular because they can get to see their neighbors or their friends or their family doing that. And say, so what else can I do from home? And this is great. It's great for our business because you can find those people and offer an extra uh, line of income, right? And uh, anyway, so this is a great point and I love it, sustainability. Okay, this is very important because the consumers are gonna look, not only the quality of the product that you sell, or oh, I need a lipstick, okay, she sells lips. They're gonna look at the whole company and make sure that the company sustains, you know, no items that are not recyclable. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So I tell you, if you have a home, a lot of these shiny ribbons and plastic or whatever, just get rid of it as soon as possible. Uh, give gift right now and do it right now. But as the year goes in, they want to see you to do recycle, recycle paper for your business cards, recycle paper for your postcards or thank you notes, um, wrapping, uh, don't use plastic, uh, use paper. Paper is easy, right, to recycle. So look at your office, look at um, how you communicate with your clients, whether it's mailing or stuff like that and try to go green as much as possible because that will be appreciated by your customers in 2023. There's gonna be campaigns in, that will encourage uh, people to do this. And I gotta tell you, I went on Thanksgiving to a family gathering 
and where my nephews and nieces, what are they are? So they are in between 25 to 39, 38. So they're kind of the young um, culture community. And uh, so I, I, as you know, I have different businesses. So I told one of my nieces, Hey, have you checked my website? I have a boutique, right? So I ha have you checked my boutique in the website? Her first question is, oh, I'm glad Aunt Diana <laughs> have a boutique. She, she said, well, all depends. What is your position? What do you sell? It's like, oh, <laughs> you know, and I know where she's coming from. And I said, well, I do sell some tops that are made out of bamboo. Because I know she was looking for that. She wants to know whether I have products that are natural. And I do have some tops that are made out of bamboo. So I was in the on the right there. It was nice. And um, and anyway, she talked about other companies. So, well, um, just send me and I can see their products and put it in my boutique, you know. So this, it was so funny because I was just reading about the consumer's preferences and uh, and talking about it. And then I have this experience with my niece. So yeah, it's happening. Um, again, right environment practices. So um, again, see what you have in your home that is not recyclable, whatever, get rid of it. Right now when people are still that much aware of it, but next year try to go recycle and um green um okay good so we talk metaverse so metaverse was introduced this year and what it is but still a lot of people have no idea what it is you see it in facebook you see it in instagram you have an account and this is a next level of internet metaverse what it does is connect people Right, so you have a Facebook and you are doing a, a reel or a story. Um, Metaverse already have data about what you like, what you post about, if you're posting about cosmetics or cooking or wine or jewelry. The Metaverse, what it does, they connect um, or find communities that share the same topics. Uh, or people that share the same data that you promote or you like. And so that is what is very uh, genius because it does help to grow your business. So it is important that you do post, that you do real, that you do stories and show your products um, and use the hashtag also so the artificial intelligence can read it and connect you with those that are shopping online or makeup or fashion or etc. or use ingredients. Those ones that are looking for a specific ingredient will find you and Facebook and Instagram will spread your posts into these communities. Okay, so... Um, again, using the virtual reality um, is um, and trying virtual are great, great ways to share. And we do have uh, in our website some of these sam samples are very basic and it's going to get uh, more complicated. So this is um, a sample of what um, are they internet connection was telling you it's like you have all these computers and laptops and um technological equipments and ideas and platforms and they're all connected in one brain if we can say it i'm sorry uh whoops i got a i got a call so i gotta turn it off okay so let's go into, okay, the internet of things. I'm sorry. I think that, okay. So this is for you to have an idea. No matter where you are, millions of computers, millions of phones, um, iPad, uh, any type of communication is um, 
collective, it's like a collective network, it's like a red of network. It's that basket I was talking to you. And we can weave ourselves in all that activity and dynamic is going on by um, when we post, when we connect with the internet. Okay, so it's, it's this is what it is in the real world. And this is happening right now, but it's gonna be a new level on 2023. So be ready for that. Let's go about virtual reality. Some of you have relatives or kids <laughs> at home or grandkids that have these um, fun um, glasses, or you can feel you are in that place, really, is virtual reality. Well, imagine having a party, having a skincare party, uh, and feeling like you are there touching the products and looking at all the products or looking how they're making it or someone trying it on and feeling very real. So that is coming up. Then this is what is called augmented reality. So augmented reality is already used for a lot of company where they show you a room. Now, can you imagine having your open houses like this where you can have the products all set up and people can move around and go into the pros and they can choose a, a specific pro like the pillowcases or, or, or the flower vase or the flower and they can kick, uh, click on it. And now all this information about that product comes up and I tell you what it is and how many color it has and what does it do? What are the benefits? And, this is so great. And so then they say, oh, I liked it. And then you click your shopping cart and it takes you to your website and they buy it from you, right? If they have questions, they can email to you. Say, okay, I saw this product, really like it, but blah, blah, blah. And, and, and it's great. Or they can click home and go into your website and see other products. So this is what is augmented reality. And it's imagine just doing your, your open houses. I think that would be great for open houses samples. And you can send it to your clients and say, look, at I have in this open house here with this product, uh, check out the prices. And even like if I choose the flowers, I can click on the flowers and the tulip tulipans and uh, it will tell me everything, but also if it's on sale or not. Who loves that? You got to type in your chat and say, if you like AR. You know, I love AR. Okay. Now, um, again, going back into some of the changes is the talent. People will like, um, whether it's customers, what, let us say the culture. Let's talk about the culture in general. It's going to be moving in appreciation of talent. Uh, the fact that <clears throat> we do all our makeup and our hair done and our best clothes to come in into a Zoom meeting you know, or to show in a live or event uh, our products um, is, is not trendy anymore. So what I mean is people are not looking for the Barbie doll and the camera. Okay, let's put it that way. Or the Hollywood star on the camera. They're looking for real people. And that's when we talk, um, when I talk about branding, it's about your brand, it's about yourself. You all may have the same products in your business to sell, but at the end, what attracts the customer is who you are. And maybe some won't come to you, but imagine all the millions of people that will like who you are. And... Um, and so they like you to be authentic, real, and flexible. And one of the ways that we can see the beginning of this is in TikTok. For those of you that have TikTok, you know that um, all the suddenly you get, um, and this is the last few weeks, you get um, a notification from TikTok and they say, uh, show yourself or do a post in the next two, three minutes or now so your friend can see what you're doing. And what does he mean is you do not have time to put on makeup and your nice clothes and do your hair. They encourage you to 
go out and do a pose, a live, whatever you are doing, you know. And so they will show it to all your friends in TikTok. And and this is the same idea. We're going to see more of the casual posting. Um, people really are looking for that. So this is great for all of you that feel intimidated about going in, in, in the camera. Um, because, right, if you represent the beauty business, you have to have a minimum of a nice lipstick and maybe mascara and a blush. Just the basics to look good and your hair well done, but it doesn't have to be a glamorous look or anything like that. I think my suggestion is get up in the morning, take your shower, put your makeup on, and then you are set for the rest of the day. You don't have to worry about it, <clears throat> which it should be a good business practice for all of those that are in, in the beauty business. We have to wear our business, right? Okay, so are you ready for this? You can take screenshots if you want of this. So what are we gonna need for 2023? And this is at the basic of the basic. And um, I can go for an hour on each topic and how to use it and why. And we'll do that um, as we go with these presentations. Uh, you need to have a laptop and iPad. I know a lot of you do a lot of business uh, only with the phone. Uh, but I suggest you to invest in laptops. They are very um, book, no, books, um, like MacBooks or books, um, laptops. Um, it, it really will help you to have a, a bigger a, a screen. Uh, also, I, did, I forgot it here. You can connect your laptops or your phone to the TV if you want to do a, a meeting at your home, or do some type of special presentations. Um, another thing, a lot of you work with a phone, and this is great. Um, I'm a laptop person. I do phone, you know, but I, anyways, maybe who I am. <laughs> but if you're working only with your phone, please, get to know your phone because some of you have limited yourself to um, video photos and there are so many possibilities of things you can do with your phone from saving uh, files on how to find them and etc. So make sure um, you pay a teenager or whatever to teach you uh, all you can about your phone. Some of you don't know the phone very well. Um, Diana, I want to say that my seven-year-old grandson showed me how to add music to whatever video I might make. He, exactly. He could he swing music. He actually puts video out and then he puts cool music on it and he showed me how to do it. Seven years old. <laughs> exactly. That, that's what I say. I mean, don't come to me and pay me. I mean, I, I can do training one-on-one, -on -one, you know, but you, it's, it's private. I have, get some teenagers and, um, you know, it, it just get familiar with your phone. There's so many sources and it's so great. So if you're not that familiar, please, please, I encourage you to do it um, during Christmas vacation, maybe. Mm -hmm. But start the year knowing your phone very well. Uh, Facebook profile and Facebook business page key. Sure, you cannot have a Facebook business page if you do not have a, a Facebook profile because Facebook profile is the Facebook page um, that how you open your account with Facebook. And then you can add on other Facebook business pages, business pages. Um, I have tons of pages because I have Spanish and English and I have like my district training in English and English and I have my other businesses with their own pages. And, but it's great. It's great. So this is, I'm talking about the basic. You need to know how to go live and you need to know how to schedule events uh, and go live. It really, if you want people to get to know you, those ones that don't know you, the best way is going live and preparing events, um, schedule them ahead of time. 
and then promote them. Um, it's very important to grow your audience. Um, TikTok, it was very questionable for years. Uh, it has changed so much. Uh, it's all it's it's good. It all depends how, what you follow, right? Oh, um, and it's getting better and better. And for business, it's it's incredible. I mean, I just relaunched my boutique after COVID a month and a half ago. And out of Facebook and TikTok and Instagram, TikTok is where I get the best results. And it's amazing. TikTok is ahead of the game, I will say right now. Uh, so uh, Canva, Canva, what is happening with Canva? And you need to know at least the basics of it is we're going to have content material to post provided by your company. You know, uh, most of the company providers say that. But what is happening is the algorithms in Facebook and Instagram uh, that I, I don't know, TikTok, if they see the same picture, the same image, they're not going to promote it as much as the first one or two that they recognize. And this has to do with artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence read a page and it will help you to promote it. Now, second person or consultant comes and use the same page. Now, is they are not going to recognize it as much. So what you need to do is to bring that picture, that image to Canva, switch it around, uh, make some changes, change the color, add this, add that, and now it's a new image. And that will help you with your post, with the algorithms and, and being show, shown around. Okay, so this is very important. And you can do postcard and business card, et cetera. It's, it's uh, videos. Uh, I've been doing videos lately in Canva. I use Vimeo. And to tell you the truth, I was paying over $300 a year with Vimeo. And i no not complaining about doing videos in Canva. There are some restrictions, but it's good for your business. Uh, if you're doing 30 seconds, one minute videos, uh, they're great. Uh, now, whether the company will provide or no communication with your clients, uh, whether are the clients that already purchased from your website or clients that never purchased from your website because um, they never did or because you have done personal uh, customer service with them. So you need to have MailChimp. It's a way to write letters, create campaigns, send information to your clients. Um, and we'll, we'll have a training on that uh, in coming up in January. Instagram, as I say, um, it's good. I don't know Instagram for business will make a difference or no, but um, you, you need to have an Instagram it, it account. It, it does help a lot. And then PayPal, we're talking a lot about PayPal. And you need to have your own, and you have to encourage all your people in, in your branches, in your district to have a PayPal account. I have my PayPal account for years. I have one for family and, and friends. Uh, eight, 10 years, I don't know. I have it for a long time. And then I opened a few years ago my PayPal for business. Um, so I have two accounts. Um but I connect my business account with all my businesses and I, I keep the other one for personal things. Um, and also I would suggest you to have a bank business account because this is e-commerce, this is um, e-marketing. And the more that you business grow into online shopping, online selling, uh, social selling, you're gonna have more and more payments um, going electronically into your account. So if you can, at the end of the year, you know, have this, um, a, a bank, bis, uh, your business account in the bank, it will be easy for your taxes to see everything. So that's something I encourage. A lot of banks require you to have uh, like a big amount of money deposited, but re research, especially with the credit unions, Sometimes you don't have minimum requirement to as a, open an account and have it as a deposit. Um, so research um, 
and, and just open your bank business account if you don't have one. And then uh, digital business, um, that, as I say, how are we gonna move into digital business? Like we're not gonna have any more brochures. Um, we know that was that was coming up. Um, so you know that I have my famous uh, keychain where they have a QR code um, and that QR code goes to your bio link and I don't know if they have the bio link, but I'm gonna show you right away. Um, let me see, is this, I think this is what a bio link is. Uh, so you have your brand, your colors. This is mine. So I'm going to share my, um, I just um, use some of the trends right now. It's forget about titles. Uh, you are an entrepreneur. Uh, and, and this is what people want to see. Because if they say the name of the company, oh, and he's a, a diamond level and this level. And people don't like that. So just stay you are an entrepreneur and they will be more curious to know about what do you do that you set up all these names and titles and then uh, the bio link will show you all these different links and um, I add it like try on virtual makeup and so what is going to happen when you click there and some of you know this but I'll just show you for those who are new it will take you to your website landing on the page where the visual try on is the Jafra makeup trial it is and so and from there they go and they try on their makeup um you know so it's it's gonna function it's just like a little bit it takes a little bit to load um let's go back and see the other one so they can go and have a, a skin analysis so they go click so what happened is when they scan the QR code, it goes to their phone because it's scan it with their camera and it stays. So this is a substitute for the brochures and the brochures. So you don't have to worry because this is stay on their phone forever. And every month when we the special offers change it, it changed automatically. You don't have to do anything. Let's see. Um, Let's click a special offers here. Oh, and this is not clicking. <laughs> okay. Um, I told you my internet is not working today, but let's see the one I see is spa products. Let's see. Okay, here is spa product. And they go and click. Where do they land? They land on the page of my website where the spa products are. And they can go and shop around. I mean, this is a big, um line of product is a, a, a the the spa the skincare all of those and and the nice thing is yesterday was a flash sale and we're gonna have those on Monday right so you see it's Monday now we have a new uh offer coming up and so it's gonna be here and this page is all updated on the minutes, whatever is happening, and it will be here, okay? So let's see, um, here we have, I want them to follow me on Instagram. So they can click in here and they take them to my page on Instagram. Now they can follow me from Instagram too. So this is what we're talking about digital tools. It, have your business with you. You don't need to have a brochure. You don't need to have even a business card, but you can have a business card. And so this is my Instagram. And they can see all my videos, my reels, my stories from before. I like this picture of me with a new VIP gifts. I think that's a very happy one. Okay. So, and you go on and on and, uh, and, a lot of you already have this tool with you. I, I created and make it for you and customize it for your product. So you can go say 30 to 50%, which it will be um, your sponsoring saves 30 to 50%, which is still good because that's what we're doing this day. And it landed in their joint Jafra page. And you can change it for English and Spanish, right? Here on the top. Um, and it will show you the current uh, uh, sponsoring tools that are going to be av av available. 
okay? And they can say, yeah, I'm going to join Jafra today. And then they join it and one more consultant for your website. So this, this is this fun. A lot of you are ahead of the game. So pat in your back because not having brochure is not going to be a problem anymore. You know, if you have this, um, this material. And let me stop the share and show you here kind of live uh, what is the the, the, the keychains that I create. I made it myself. But this is a QR code where people can scan it and it take you to this bio link. And from that bio link, they move into whatever they want to do with your business. I also have another one, which is tap and go. Okay. This doesn't need a QR code, but I put it just in case, but you can have an, um, your logo, you can have a product, picture, whatever. It doesn't have a logo, but what this does is when you have your phone and your phone is open, let's see here, you just tap in here, you know, you tap and then um, a website will pop. Let's see if we can see it. I think I had to, to move it. Okay, there you go. And so then you open that website and it will show you the same that you saw on the screen, the bio link. And so if people have problems with the camera, I say, I can open my camera, I can, you know. So anyway, I put a little necklace here so I have it tied up in my purse so I can show it all we have. It. I have both of them with me. And if I go to a restaurant, I just put it on. If I go to a show or a class, I have it on. I have it on me and in share. So um, so I'll be here right now. So the other thing that's coming up, I want you to know is, we'll go, oh, we have 23 questions. Okay. Um, the other thing is in January, there are going to be courses available for me that I have prepared, and they're going to be in three levels, where it's basic. And we're talking about basic, like how to use your Facebook profile page and Facebook business pages, and how to do business, even though you're not allowed to do business in your Facebook basic. This is very basic. And then we'll have the same topic in an intermediate, okay, medium. So if you already have those pages, I know we're going to learn tricks and tips on how to work this and create a growth in your audience. And then we're going to have the advanced courses for those that they know all of this. We're going to use new websites and different tools. I mean, I'm going to teach them and have to connect um, your Facebook activities to an, an, a new level of, of business. And you will see how, Diana, but you're not as successful in your business. Well, we didn't have the platforms that we'll have in 2023. And so now is the time to take over because we have, I can tell you, we have a company that is moving and provide the best for you to grow. Okay, so we have different courses in Canva, in MailChimp, uh, Instagram, TikTok coming up in January. The nice thing is you can choose what courses you want to take and you can pay with PayPal in four installments too. You're going to have the option to pay with credit card, Venmo, and PayPal in order to attend these courses. And also they will include an ebook. So once you have the classes, you will have an ebook that reviews step by step what we talk in those classes. Okay. Now, uh, I want to see the questions on Carol left. Um, let me see. Is, is any question right now? You can open your mics and ask me. <laughs> Diana, I have a question. Yes, go ahead, Linda. Um, I've used Canva and I got pro um, last year. So anything I posted for my pa Facebook page, Facebook group, um, I always created them in Canva. 
I used okay. to be able to just schedule it from there and it would it would post when I wanted it to in Facebook. Right now, it won't let me. So I think Facebook did a new thing recently and it's saying that my Facebook it's um, not connected, connected, to, connected Canva to Canva with a different email. Okay, so what you need to do this um, Canva has an app that integrates into Facebook, right? Mm -hmm. And so you need to make sure that Canva is integrated, connected with Facebook. So uh, that's what you need to do. Before As an app was, or a business integration? Exactly. Which exactly. one though? Those are two different well, ones on my computer. Uh, if your Facebook is updated, um, I would encourage everybody to log out of your Facebook, log back in mm -hmm. and take all the updates, you know, yeah. uh, which is good and bad because maybe you have Canva up before and now it's going to disappear because the integration is made in a different way. But right. as you go into log out and log in, you're going to receive instructions of what is new. I and then so. going to your business page, do you have a Facebook business page? Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. you have to look in there. Um, I don't know by memory because it's like riding a bike. I know how to do it, but I cannot yeah. tell you right now what it is, you know. Um, uh, but there is a place where it say apps. Mm -hmm. and so you click apps there, and it's going to show you the apps that are integrated to your Facebook. Okay. If it, Canva is not there, just search Canva, and it will pop. And just okay. follow the instruction, how to integrate okay. it. Right. And you can do that with MailChimp too, which is mm -hmm. going to be great because I think we're going to need communication and emails are going to be very yeah. important. Yeah. Thank That's you. It. No, you're welcome. Okay. Let's see. Some of these people are not here. Oh my, they got bored and left. <laughs> so I just, okay. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. That would be 